All right, so Tucker Carlson, um, ever since the end of the Trump era, he has gone immediately, snapped right back into classic standard right-wing claptrap. Now, you might say, well, he was always like that, Kyle. He was always like that to some extent, but he did the fake populism tap dance back in the day, just like Trump, where he pretended like, oh, who, me, bro? I'm for the working man. I remember when he did a segment where he actually gave AOC and Bernie Sanders credit because they proposed a bill to basically stop loan sharks, stop predatory interest rates. That's what he used to do. Now that Biden's president, oh, he's just right back. He might may as well be Mitt Romney on Fox News. Take a look at this. So we spend a lot of time pounding on the Democratic Party and the individual Democrats on this show. But the truth is, we're going to be totally honest, we need a sane Democratic Party in America if we're going to continue. Democrats and Republicans will always disagree on specific solutions. But the key is this. Both parties have to have the same goal, improving the country and the lives of the individual Americans who live here. As long as you have that, the rest is just a policy debate. That's the way it's been for centuries. That's what we need to return to. And there is, we're happy to say, some evidence on the margins that some people in the Democratic Party are beginning to realize this. Here's an example. Abigail Spanberger is a pretty liberal, actually, member of Congress from the Richmond suburbs of Virginia. But last week, after her party was crushed in that state, she said some true and obvious things about why her party might be in trouble. Here's part of it. Nobody elected Biden to be FDR, she told the New York Times. They elected him to be normal and stop the chaos. We were so willing to take seriously a global pandemic, but we're not willing to say, yeah, inflation is a problem and supply chain is a problem and we don't have enough workers in our workforce. We gloss over that and only like to admit problems in spaces that we dominate. So it's not a partisan point to note that that's just true. It's absolutely true. These aren't radical observations. They're really obvious. But on the left right now, it takes courage to say that. And as Americans, we want to do whatever we can to support people who think like this, regardless of what party they're in. Not only is that not true, that's the exact opposite. That is completely false. She's saying, oh, Biden wasn't elected to be like FDR. Then why is it that every time he releases a left wing proposal when it comes to economics, it pulls off the charts popular? Why is that? If he wasn't elected to be FDR, then why were the most popular things that he was proposing paid family leave, elder care, Medicare expansion, child tax credit, the checks that went directly to people? Why is it that those things poll phenomenally well, not just among Democrats, but also among independents and even among Republicans? Why is that? What does it mean when you say, oh, he wasn't elected to be FDR. Democrats have to move to the center. Define that. What does it mean? So what policy position should he be fighting for, according to you, Tucker, and you, Abigail Spanberger? By the way, who is Abigail Spanberger? She's a Democratic representative who is a corporatist and a CIA stooge. She was in the CIA. So Mr. Anti, I'm Tucker Carlson, I'm anti-establishment, is citing a CIA stooge corporatist as a truth teller among the Democrats. No. Swing and a miss. One strike. You're out. Ain't no two and three on this one, son. Nobody elected Biden to be FDR. When you look at all the things that made him popular, by the way, when was he polling the highest when he did the direct checks, the $1,400 checks? That's one of the most progressive things he ever did, along with pulling out of Afghanistan, which was, which was popular in theory, but then he got hammered by idiots in the media, which turned it into a negative, including people like Tucker Carlson. Under Trump, he's all, let's get out of Afghanistan. Biden does it, and he's like, no, not like that. Total hack. You know, he doesn't care about the specific policies. He's playing the same partisan tribal game, and he's just doing it in a way that's more palatable to a younger generation. He put a little spin on Bill O'Reilly or Sean Hannity. That's all he did. You're going to cite a, a CIA stooge corporatist as if that's a truth teller? By the way, she says, nobody liked Biden to be FDR. I already explained how that's ridiculous. FDR won four times. If Biden acted like FDR, he would definitely win two terms, even if he's a fucking carcass when he runs in 2024. FDR led to 80% of the House being having uh, Democratic control and 80% of the Senate having Democratic control. If Biden was like FDR, he'd be phenomenally popular. And he's not because he's actually not acting like FDR in some very clear ways, like stripping all those popular provisions out of the fucking Build Back Better bill because he can't get mentioned in cinema on board because he's not fighting hard enough. He's not trying hard enough to do that. And then he brings up, he acts like this is some genius thing. Oh, inflation is a problem. Why can't we admit that? Okay, we can admit that, 
but we also need to be honest about the origins of it, which is the supply chain. He brings up inflation in the supply chain as if they're separate issues. They're not. What's leading to inflation is the supply chain. So one of the ways around that is what? Reinvigorate American manufacturing. That's the way around that. I don't hear you talking much about that. And by the way, if Biden were to do that, you would say, oh, this is like FDR. Nobody wants this. What? The way to fight back against inflation would be to increase American manufacturing, which would be an FDR-like program, just like the New Deal. And then you turn around and be against it because you're a hack. And then he goes on to do his standard enlightened centrism garbage. We need a sane Democratic Party. Okay, um, I agree. (laughs) We need a sane Democratic Party. We need a totally non-corrupt Democratic Party, which means you get rid of assholes like Spanberger, who you're citing as if she's a truth teller. Uh, He says both parties need to have the same goal, improving the country. In what meaningful way do Republicans want to improve the country? Yelling at Big Bird on Twitter over vaccines? Is that improving the country? Yelping about Mr. Potato Head and Dr. Seuss for months on end? Is that improving the country? Look, Democrats have a million problems. I rip them to shreds every single day. But the fact of the matter is that $3.5 trillion bill, which was unveiled, had all these great policies in it. And Tucker didn't touch it with a 10-foot pole because that would mean, if you're being honest, having to give credit to that bill which, by the way, was spearheaded by Bernie Sanders, which is why the original bill was as good as it was. See, this shit drives me crazy. You have, the Democrats don't even want to improve the country. You have to at least want to improve the country. The rest is just a policy debate. That bill had elder care, paid family leave, child tax credit, uh, Medicare expansion in it. All these great policies. They just pretend like that, that wasn't in there. Um, and then, by the way, final point, Tulsi ends up, so this was actually a lead into having Tulsi on. Tulsi goes on there, and what's her brilliant uh, addition to the conversation? Oh, yeah, the problem here is the Democrats are racializing uh, politics. Now, I hope, and Tucker goes, I hope there's some of them that would be against this. And Tulsi's like, oh, I hope so. Are there ultra-woke college campus lefties who are annoying or obsessed with that? Yes. The main debate, policy debate in the country right now had nothing to do with race. Sure, in Virginia, CRT was everywhere. Duh. But the main policy debate was the Build Back Better bill with economic proposals from now until the end of time. As far as the eye could see, you got economic thing after economic thing. And not a word about that. Democrats racializing politics. They should do something like elder care, paid family leave, or focus on economics. You mean like that thing that they did and you just ignored? Right. Spare me. I mean, it's getting it's getting absurd, man. It's getting absurd. What happened to the, you know, the Mr. I'm a fake populist? He can't even fake it anymore. Nobody elected FDR to be Biden. If Joe Biden acted like FDR, he'd be fucking popular. And maybe Tucker knows that. And maybe that's why he doesn't want him to act like FDR. Because then he wouldn't be able to get his standard Republican ghouls back in office.